These will probably change the future of hearing aids forever. Hey guys, Cliff Olson, doctor of audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm doing a detailed review of the new Apple AirPods Pro 2 hearing aid feature. My first video talking about using Apple AirPods Pro as hearing aids came all the way back in June of 2020. At the time, Apple created a new feature called Transparency Mode that allowed your original Apple AirPods Pro to amplify sounds around you, acting more like a hearing aid. During my initial review, I was rather impressed with the performance capabilities of the Apple AirPods Pro as several of my patients actually used them successfully as long as they had a mild level hearing loss. Of course, upon the release of the Apple AirPods Pro 2, they still kept this transparency feature, which allowed the Apple AirPods Pro 2 to also act like hearing aids. In fact, I did a detailed review of the Apple AirPods Pro 2 back in March of 2023. That video is linked down in the description. Overall, the Apple AirPods Pro 2 using transparency mode was pretty decent, but they didn't do that well in independent lab testing by HearAdvisor where they were given a sound score of a C. In fact, this placed the Apple AirPods Pro 2 in the bottom 25% of all devices that HearAdvisor had tested up to that point. So the question now becomes, now that the Apple AirPods Pro 2 have been turned into official over-the-counter hearing aids with their new hearing aid feature inside of iOS 18.1, how good do they actually perform? as over-the-counter hearing aids. Well, that is exactly what I'm covering in today's review video, but before I do, do me a huge favor and click the like button. It really helps out my channel, and if you are not yet subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, go ahead and do that as well. It is greatly appreciated. And while you're at it, leave me a comment down in the comment section if you've actually tried the Apple AirPods Pro 2 hearing aid feature and let me know how it worked. Now, if you would like some help setting up the Apple AirPods Pro 2 as over-the-counter hearing aids, you can check out my video over here that I will link in the description. That is more of a tutorial video to take you step by step through the setup process. Now the new Apple AirPods Pro 2 hearing aid feature is intended for adults with perceived mild to moderate hearing loss. They are not intended for children and they are not suitable for anyone who has more than a moderate level hearing loss. From a cost perspective, you can get a pair of Apple AirPods Pro 2 for only $249, which is cheap when it comes to over-the-counter hearing aids. Of course, if you wanna be able to wear these all day long, you're probably gonna to have to get two pairs of them because they'll only give you battery life for around five to six hours, and most hearing aid users wear their hearing aids for up to 13 hours a day on average. Personally, I love how the Apple AirPods Pro 2 fit my ears. The medium size ear tip is perfect for my ears, but they do have a variety of different ear tip sizes, so you can find the right one for you. Just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about when I'm talking about the ear tips, you can see them right there on the screen, little pieces of rubber that attach to the tip of the AirPods Pro 2. Now, I will say that the fit of the Apple AirPods Pro 2 is different for different people. You may actually hate the way that they fit inside of your ears, and there's also the aspect of when you wear these out in public as hearing aids, people tend to think that you're rude because you're leaving your Apple AirPods inside of your ears while you're trying to have a conversation with them because they have no idea that these are hearing aids. Now to set them up as actual hearing aids, you have to make sure that you have iOS 18.1 or newer downloaded on your iPhone. And yes, you do have to have an iPhone to turn these into hearing aids and you do have to live in an area that actually authorizes this to be possible. For instance, you can get this if you live in the United States, but other countries may not have this accessibility yet. Now, I will say that when I first downloaded iOS 18.1, it didn't automatically turn my AirPods Pro 2 into hearing aids. The hearing aid feature and the hearing protection feature were not available inside of the phone, even though I did the update. It actually required a separate software update of the Apple AirPods Pro 2 themselves. Ultimately, I had to plug in my Apple AirPods Pro 2, leave the phone unlocked, and ultimately, that software update was completed on its own, but it took several hours to do, and I had no idea that it had actually been done. I just walked up to my iPhone a few hours later, and voila, the option was there. Tech support from Apple was virtually no help at all, and that is a piece of advice that I have for you is, if you're having issues with this hearing aid feature, do not reach out to Apple. They have no clue what they're doing with it. If you do need help setting up your Apple AirPods Pro 2 as over-the-counter hearing aids, or you need help optimizing them to perform better for you as over-the-counter hearing aids, 
I highly recommend that you go to my website, hearingup.com, and find a Hearing Up Network member in your area. Hearing Up members have been vetted and are committed to following comprehensive audiologic best practices, even with over-the-counter hearing aids like the Apple AirPods Pro 2. Not only can they assist you with the setup, but they can also evaluate the performance to ensure they are optimized for your hearing loss using real ear measurement, as you will see later in this review video. Like I mentioned briefly before, this update to iOS 18.1 or newer also activates a hearing protection feature inside of the AirPods Pro 2, but I am not going to be reviewing that feature in this video. I will have a separate review video of that feature that I will also have linked in the description. Now, after you activate the hearing aid feature inside of your iPhone, you have several different ways of actually setting up the AirPods Pro 2 as hearing aids. You can manually enter audiogram thresholds that were taken professionally, or you can actually take the hearing test inside of your iPhone. Just a quick FYI here, if you do happen to take a picture of your audiogram, it is much more effective to take a picture of a paper audiogram than it is to take it off of a computer screen. You'll get much more accurate results, but if your results are messed up a little bit, you can actually go in and make adjustments to them to correct whatever your thresholds are. To take the hearing test on the phone itself, you have to put the AirPods Pro 2 inside of your ears. It will go through a fit check with you. Then you're listening for beeps. And every time that you hear the beeps, you wanna tap the screen. Now you wanna make sure that you do this in a quiet room because if you do not do it in a quiet room, it's gonna give you warning saying that the ambient sound is too loud and it will pause the test. And sometimes when you get completed with the test, it will tell you that there was too much noise throughout the test and you have to repeat it again. In terms of accuracy, the hearing test feature inside of the iPhone was pretty accurate at identifying my hearing loss and the asymmetry in my hearing loss. And you can see a direct comparison between my professional audiogram here on the right and the audiogram obtained through the iPhone on the left. Keep in mind that if the app does identify a significant asymmetry in your hearing loss, it could be the sign of a serious medical condition, and I highly recommend that you consult with a doctor of audiology right away. Now, for ultimate accuracy of the audiogram, I do recommend that you get a professional audiogram done. That way you can guarantee that the results you're entering into the phone are correct. That way you get the best frequency response of the Apple AirPods Pro 2 as over-the-counter hearing aids. As far as the adjustments that you can make using the hearing aid feature, they include overall volume, balance between the left and right ears, darker and brighter adjustments for either more low frequency bass tones or more high frequency treble tones, noise reduction adjustments for either more noise reduction or less noise reduction, conversation boost to prioritize the amplification of sounds coming from in front of you and suppressing sounds coming from behind you, and media assist to apply your hearing test results to your streamed audio. Honestly, these are pretty much the same exact adjustments that you had using transparency mode of the Apple AirPods Pro 2. This is not something that's new with this new hearing aid feature. With that being said, having an update to this new hearing aid feature with the Apple AirPods Pro 2, does it actually improve their performance as over-the-counter hearing aids? To find this out, I decided to perform real ear measurement on the Apple AirPods Pro 2 hearing aid feature so I could objectively identify if they were capable of meeting a mild to moderate hearing loss prescription and how their feature adjustments worked. Now I've done this exact same type of testing with the Apple AirPods Pro and the Apple AirPods Pro 2 in transparency mode. So if you want to check out those videos so you can do a comparison yourself, be my guest. Keep in mind that some of the measures I'll be performing in this video will be a direct comparison of the Apple AirPods Pro 2 with the new hearing aid feature and the old transparency mode feature. Now in case this is your first time hearing me talk about real ear measurement, just know that it is an objective way for me to measure how well a hearing aid is programmed to a hearing loss prescription. To do this, we place probe microphone tubes inside of the ear canals and play calibrated sound from a speaker in front of the test subject. This allows us to measure the amplification levels and plot them on a computer screen to see how accurately they are able to match a hearing loss prescription with and without programming adjustments and to see how different digital features perform. For the purpose of this review, I'm going to use a mild to moderate level of hearing loss to calculate an NAL NL2 prescription that is within the fitting range capabilities of the Apple AirPods Pro 2. To start, we first have to measure the ear canal resonance with just the probe microphone tubes without AirPods. This is the natural amplification effect you get from a human ear canal. I'm measuring the ear canal resonance using the solid pink curve. The hash mark line that you will see throughout this testing will indicate the NAL-NL2 hearing loss prescription for this mild to moderate hearing loss. 
The goal is to get the solid line to match the hash mark line as closely as possible, which would mean that we are matching the amplification levels of the AirPods Pro 2 to this hearing loss effectively. As you can see, the human ear canal resonance without AirPods in the ears does not match the prescription because of this mild to moderate hearing loss. Now we need to start measuring amplification using the AirPods Pro 2 by placing them inside of the ears along with the probe microphone tubes to measure their output in the ear canal. This turquoise curve represents what we call the first fit settings of the AirPods Pro 2 after applying the hearing test results. The goal would be to have the turquoise solid line matching the turquoise hash mark line as closely as possible between 250Hz and 8000Hz. On these first fit settings, you can see that we are either meeting or exceeding the prescription in the lower frequency ranges, but we are still under amplified in the mid and high frequency ranges. This would create the issue of things sounding louder but not necessarily clearer since clarity of speech is derived from the mid and upper frequency ranges. Here's a comparison of the ear canal resonance without AirPods in pink and the first fit settings of the AirPods in turquoise. You can actually calculate how much additional amplification you can get with the AirPods on their default first fit settings. Next, we need to see the range of volume from maximum volume in the green to minimum volume in the pink, which appears to give us an approximate 10 decibel total range of volume. This happens to be about half the amount of the total range that you would typically get from a hearing aid. Looking at the balance adjustment to give more amplification to one of your ears and less to the other ear, with the balance shifted either all the way to the left or all the way to the right, it gives us an offset of approximately 3 to 4 decibels across the frequency range, which is likely enough to correct some small perception of imbalance or asymmetry between your ears. When measuring the tone adjustment where you can offset between brighter and darker, it looks looks like the pivot point is around 1.4 or 1.5 kilohertz. When you shift the AirPods to maximum brightness, it increases the high frequencies above 1.5 kilohertz by approximately 3 to 4 decibels, and reduces the amplification below 1.5 kilohertz by approximately the same amount. The same offset occurs when you adjust to maximum darkness, which provides more low frequency below 1.5 kilohertz by approximately 3 to 4 decibels, and reduces high frequencies above 1.5 0.5 kilohertz by the same amount. I also wanted to see if the ambient noise reduction settings would have any impact on amplification levels despite no ambient noise being present during testing. Here you can see that when we compare the more setting in green and the less setting in pink, there is an approximate two decibel difference between these two settings despite no noise being present. When measuring conversation boosts, we compared measures taken facing the speaker and measures taken facing away from the speaker to see if we could measure the directional microphone effects of this particular mode. The solid green line indicates conversation boost from in front, and the solid pink line indicates the feature from behind. There's no real consistency in this measurement of what the feature is actually doing. However, I will say that there is a slight subjective perception of speech being louder when in front of you using this particular feature. Next, I wanted to see if we could find a variety of different adjustments that could optimize the prescriptive matching using the AirPods Pro 2 to the exact NAL2 hearing loss prescription, and this is as close as I could get. As you could see, I was able to match a good portion of the Hashmark green prescription curves in the left and right ears, but it definitely was not a perfect prescriptive match. There were still several areas where the AirPods either over amplified sound where you can see the solid curve above the hash mark curve and several areas where the AirPods under amplified sound as well. Here's a comparison of the customized amplification levels of the AirPods Pro 2 in green with the first fit levels in turquoise. It is definitely better after customizing the amplification levels rather than just leaving your AirPods Pro 2 on the first fit settings following the hearing test. And here's a comparison of the new AirPods Pro 2 hearing aid feature in green versus the previous AirPods Pro 2 transparency feature from back in 2023 in the red. As you can see, they are pretty similar, but neither one of them matches the Hashmark prescription curve exactly. For additional comparison's sake, here's a prescriptive match using an actual prescription hearing aid in purple so you can see what an ideal prescriptive match looks like. And I'll go ahead and overlay the AirPods Pro 2 hearing aid results in green so you can directly compare the two of them. Other than a small section between 6,000 and 8,000 hertz in the left ear, unsurprisingly the prescription hearing aid does a much better job of matching the prescription hash mark lines. 
Next, I wanted to measure compression to see how well the AirPods Pro match average, loud, and soft level speech targets to ensure you're receiving enough amplification to hear soft level speech, but not too much amplification to make loud speech uncomfortably loud. Honestly, this is probably the best I've ever tested in an over-the-counter hearing aid device, although it definitely still isn't perfect. Last but not least, I measured the ambient noise reduction. At the mid-level, the AirPods applied approximately 5 to 6 decibels of noise reduction. At the more level, they applied approximately 11 decibels of noise reduction, and at the less level, they applied 0 decibels of noise reduction. Honestly, I was pretty satisfied with the performance of the Apple AirPods Pro 2 in this new hearing aid feature compared to the previous transparency mode feature. But let's go ahead and take a look at the objective results obtained by another independent testing lab, Hear Advisor, to find out what they had to say about the Apple AirPods Pro 2 hearing aid performance. According to Hear Advisor, the AirPods Pro 2 with the new hearing aid feature improved their performance and Hear Advisor ranking from the bottom 25% of all devices tested with Apple's previous use of transparency mode up to the bottom 40% of all devices tested using the new hearing aid mode. It's also worth noting that the Hear Advisor sound score of the AirPods Pro 2 without custom tuning using real ear measurement was a paltry 3.2 and this improved to a respectable 4.5 score after custom tuning with real ear measurement. So just like I identified during my objective testing, the performance of the AirPods Pro 2 as hearing aids does depend on how well you can have them program for your hearing loss. It's also worth noting that the speech and noise performance without custom tuning is horrible with a score of 0.8. And even with custom tuning, speech and noise performance only increased to 2.6, which is also not very good at all. So what are my overall thoughts when it comes to the performance of the Apple AirPods Pro 2 as hearing aids? In terms of performance, the Apple AirPods Pro 2 are able to be customized to match hearing loss prescriptive targets for mild to moderate levels of hearing loss better than pretty much any other over-the-counter hearing aid I have ever tested. I do wish that they had at least a three band equalizer to help me match prescriptive targets a little bit better though. Of course, being only $249, the performance of the Apple AirPods Pro 2 when adjusting it for value are by far, in my opinion, the best over-the-counter hearing aids that your money can buy. The noise reduction capabilities of the Apple AirPods Pro 2 is also by far the best when it comes to any other over-the-counter hearing aid on the market. And they have the best Bluetooth streaming sound quality, especially if you apply your hearing test results to the streaming. As far as my perception of how they actually work in the real world as I'm wearing them, I have to say that they work pretty good, except for when I go into noisy environments, and in that particular case, they're not that good at all. Their performance is also severely lacking if you just trust the first fit estimates of the programming. You really have to have these professionally customized if you want to get the full amount of benefit, which I do understand completely takes away the entire concept of the idea of having over-the-counter hearing aids that means that you don't have to go in and see a hearing care professional. But hey, that in and of itself is exactly why hearing care professionals even exist. Now you may be here trying to figure out whether or not the Apple AirPods Pro 2 hearing aid feature can completely replace the need of a prescription hearing aid. And I will say this, while you can get some benefit from an Apple AirPods Pro 2 properly set up, you will get substantially more benefit from a properly set up prescription hearing aid by a hearing care professional who follows best practices. Of course, if you're looking for a pair of over-the-counter hearing aids, or you're just looking for a boost in your hearing in certain scenarios, scenarios, the Apple AirPods Pro 2 turned into over-the-counter hearing aids with their new hearing aid feature might be the perfect option for you.